Please, Godzilla, what did you say? How many dogs died today? Hey, dog butcher, what did you say? How many dogs died today? But in a week's time, there's going to be the Yulin Dog Meat Festival where 10,000 dogs will be killed. And not just killed, but tortured in various ways. Their eyes gouged out, uh, limbs cut off, as a way to make the brain increase adrenaline, which then they believe goes into the meat, and they eat the meat, and then they think that it makes them feel powerful or potent or something. Um, it's really a barbaric way to treat these innocent, loyal, loving, beautiful animals in 2016. Several Chinese we've talked to today that have come out of the consulate have said that it's a tradition. America had a tradition, slavery, and that had to end. 400 years of owning a person in this country. It's a shame on this country. China is now shamed by having this horrific dog meat festival, and just generally the dog meat trade goes on through the years, as I mentioned. Um, this needs to stop. It, tradition is not a word to hide behind. Traditions are often wrong. This is a horrible tradition, or tradition, and it needs to stop. If China wants to move into the modern age and be a respected country, treating innocent animals this way has to stop. Um, so what we're here today, and just to highlight some of Robin's points, is that we have had a very successful uh, protest in uh, 2022 to support the Slaughter of cows, pigs, turkeys, and chickens, and rabbits. And we have big slaughterhouses in China, so I'm here to support all the activists here in the United States as well as overseas. And again, we're really in support of the Chinese activists. They're so brave, laying their bodies down in front of trucks to save 700, 800 dogs at a time. We're just so thankful that they're doing this in China. We're in full support of them. We want them to know that we love them from LA and we support them. So 
dogs will die in two days. Wrap your head around those numbers. And all year long, 365 days a year, cats and dogs are being killed in Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, Malaysia, China, and Korea. Have you ever seen the inside of a dog slaughterhouse? It will leave you with nightmares for the rest of your life. But that is nothing. The nightmares, the feelings we have, the sadness and the tears, is nothing to the suffering of those dogs and those cats who are literally boiled in hot water until they die. Wrap your head around that. Come to us. We have flyers and we have petitions. We have pamphlets. And we can guide you through this. Help us help them. You have a direct correlation to the government. You can literally walk across the hallway if you want. Right now, when you go into the Chinese consulate and the embassy, you can say, what are those protesters doing outside? Are they really killing dogs in China? Are they really suffering and torturing these animals? What can I do to help? Your voice is important. Do not be silenced by the government. Do not be silenced by the law. Do not be silenced by our supposed justice system. Speak up always for those who cannot speak up.